Hello, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we're going to look at a new feature in Oracle 12c called Temporary Undo. This allows the undo segments for global temporary tables to be stored in the temp table space. If you've not seen the video on global temporary tables, you might want to watch that first. The link's in the description. We start off by creating a global temporary table. Temporary Undo is disabled by default, so let's look at the default action. Set Auto Trace on Statistics allows us to display statistics for the statement. We populate the global temporary table with a million rows of dummy data. We can see here we've used over 2.9 million bytes of redo, most of which is to protect the undo associated with the previous insert. This query shows us we've used 303 blocks of undo for the transaction. Once we've generated any undo, the temp undo enabled parameter is ignored, so we have to connect to a new session to set it. The parameter can be set at instance level or at session level. Here we'll just set it at session level. We repeat the same insert we did previously and look at the statistics. We can see the redo has dropped massively. It's now down to 1004 bytes. This is because we've only used a single block of the conventional undo. Instead, we've used temporary undo, as displayed by the $VDollar temp undo stat view. The removal of the redo associated with undo for global temporary tables makes them even more efficient in 12C. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description box and subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it.